Hey guys, today I have the new Frank Garcia paper pad for Christmas. It's called Candy Cane Lane. And this is what I picked up. I did not pick up everything that's available, but I did pick up enough for the season. And I will go ahead and start with the journaling cards. I just think the journaling cards are so cute. And after I show the journaling cards, I'm going to show you what I did. I just did a live maybe a couple hours ago and started playing with the the Luna collection. <laughs> and I made a few things out of one journaling card. And you guys are gonna crack up when you see how much I got out of one tiny little journaling card. I actually used two cards. One I used completely to make a tag and the other one I used to make a couple different things. Why is this not opening? Okay, let's, it's just very sticky. I love the journaling cards. I think they can make super quick tags and I, I feel like they can give you cute ideas for things as well. So let me make sure I am in my screen, okay? And you get 45 sheets, three by four inches, 15 designs, three sheets of each. My gosh, this is a cute collection. Just going from Halloween to Christmas, it's an easy transition because they're very similar. Christmas list, look at that. Let me make sure I'm in focus, okay. So you get, oh, look at the polka dots. And things are already running out, but don't worry, don't fret. They they will restock, all the stores will restock. It's very, very early in the season. Holly, Jolly, and Mary. That one's Rudolph. Look at that. And it looks like it's on, I don't know, it's, maybe, it's not a library card, but it's on some kind of lined paper that's very cool. Let's see the next one. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, we can just use that on its own. That's fantastic with a paper clip. I mean, that you could put that on a card. Let's see. And a merry ho, ho, ho to you. And I noticed when this came in that there are multiple Santas. So you have, that's more of a modern Santa. Let's see if I've, this is a very vintage Santa with his pink hat. And then this is also a vintage Santa. This one may be a newer one than this one, but still vintage. Look at that pretty paper in the background with the sleigh and the deer and the truck. So cute. Christmas chimes. That looks like the cover of a, like a tin. Maybe that you would have little candies in. Christmas wishes. This deer right here is the cutest thing ever. She has poinsettias right there and a bow right there and her tiny little feet. So cute. And she is on like ledger paper. Stockings. Oh my gosh, another deer. Order. So she's on an, an order sheet, like a receipt. Merry Christmas. I can't, just when you think that the next pad can't be as good, it's even better. Look at that. Look at that pink bird. Okay, so I need to hurry up with this. Oh my gosh. Merry Christmas. And a big thank you to everyone that went on live with me a couple hours ago. That was really fun and uh, I, I enjoyed it. It went fast too. It seemed like it was just only a few minutes, but it wasn't, I think it was like 30 minutes. Here's this cute little girl with her presents and her pretty little dress. And then looks like a string of lights in front of her. Some pretty paper. They look like snowflakes. Yeah, I would say snowflakes. Oh my gosh. Look at Santa and the little deer. Too cute. And I'll start with the big pad. Oh my gosh. Holly, Jolly, and Mary. I am so in love with all the different Santas he included because you can you can just do so many things with them. And I think you can mix and match them in different collections. 
Look at that sweet deer in front of that tree. And I think that's it. That's it. So you get 15 designs, three of each. And just, just to, to show you, out of the Luna, I don't have it sitting right here, I made a quick tag out of the trick or treat one, the trick or treat, and then I backed it on white cardstock. So simple, put a little distress ink around it. And then just to show you how much you can get out of one of these, let me see if I have, let me put it on like a piece of paper here to show you. Look at all this. I didn't even waste that corner. I made a quick little candy corn. So I used the Scrap Diva Designs tags that I recently hauled with that scalloped edge. And what I love about the edge is that it's detailed, but there's nothing to poke out of it. Love that. I cut out the moon with a little circle die and I cut this out with Scrap Diva's candy corn. Um, dies and it's a shaker die so wait for it look at that look at that I used one of the one of the 8x8 pads maybe the 6x6 it was a 6x6 or the 8x8 and I just cut a real quick piece out just a little corner with that kitty that I love just put a tiny few sequins and some seed beads and you've got a cute little shaker adorable adorable i think we are all going to have so much fun with this look but look at these this i used where is this this die is out and up in front because i've got to use this this year i love this die and i never use it these bats are from scrap diva's bubblegum i think i may have put that one away her little bubblegum the Halloween, it's right here. You can use this for so much stuff. If you are not a fan of the bubblegum machine, but you like her her dyes and her style, I would say you could use this a lot. I mean, even her little bones are cute. And then she has little witch shoes and another little candy corn you can layer. It's too much. And I made the bubblegum dye. So I made that yesterday and it just, I put it on a little easel from Tim Holtz. And it is just too stinking cute. And I used the 31 paper for that. So anyways, just had to sneak that in because look, this can be, I can just pop this, these right in with my ephemera and have a nice day. Look at that, ready to go. And these two, if I want to, oh my gosh, I'm dying over those. Okay, so back to business. Sorry to get distracted, but I just wanted to show how much you can get out of those journal cards. If like, if there's a design you really like and you don't mind the size, like that it's little, I like little stuff. Okay. So we will, let's get these out of the way and then we'll go to the big paper. I just wanted to show, I picked these and they are, they have three different sizes. So that's your large, that's your medium, that's your smaller. And Candy Cane Lane, item 661014. There's a lot of these. There's a lot. I thought there were a lot of flowers to choose from. These are a little bit larger. I think I like this size better, but I have an idea for these. So I'm glad I got them. My Sweet. And I think it was like My Sweet something. Like My Sweet Treat or something. But... So I grabbed these two, but like I said, there's a lot of flowers to choose from. So I'll put these over here. And I wanted to get the holly. I thought that was really unique and I really wanted to see what that looked like. Just this candy cane lane. And they're very, very pretty. So happy I grabbed those, but like I said, didn't grab a ton. I'll move these out of the way. Then we will move on to this. And right here, I went ahead and grabbed the acetate. So let me show you that. Here's the acetate. And I backed it with a piece of white paper. But it is kind of, let's, let's see. It's not completely see-through like acetate. It's stunningly gorgeous. But it's not completely see-through. So I wouldn't say you could do a shaker with it. But... I think you could, I, I think we're really going to be able to use it for a lot of items. I will say his items, his acetate is super thick and it might take these Biggs dies. This is the easel I use, 
the small easel. It might take these big dies to cut this. I mean, I don't know. I haven't tried yet, but just, just in case. And you can always get an impression and trim them out with scissors. So if you don't have like the big metal dies. All right, so let's get into it. See, I haven't even looked at it. I was patient. I was very patient. And just in case you didn't see my video yesterday, I'm planning on going live sometime between 10, 15, 10, 30 in the morning and doing my drawing for my thank you to all my wonderful subscribers for sticking with me and hanging in there and getting me to 1000. So I'm so happy and hopefully I will be doing more lives. So it was fun. It was different, but it was really a lot of fun. So it was, it was fun to see a few of you guys pop on and you were very supportive and I appreciate that. Okay. So let's see what Candy Cane Lane has. Oh my gosh. This is pretty. Okay. <clears throat> it is probably easier if I keep it down here and keep it in the screen. So that is beautiful. Fa la 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 or just fa la la. Look at that little deer. So you could definitely fussy cut her out. I see that you have your gold accents on the stars. The the presents are a taupey gold color, but they're not the ribbon. They're not gold. They're not um, embossed. Let's see what's on the back. Oh my gosh, look at this paper. Look at this paper on the back. Oh, gorgeous. Okay. So, like, Dayton, Ohio. I'm in Ohio. Okay. Um, Holly Jolly and Mary. And look at her. Oh my gosh, she could just be cut out and be at the front of a card. And look at this little gold paper clip. And I just recently hauled a paper clip die in a panda haul. Panda haul select. It was like the school dies. And I think that that will go well in this collection. Or you use a re regular paper clip. Oh my gosh, look at this. So you've got it on. Um, that is absolutely beautiful the way they did that oh my gosh i love the polka dots i love this that would make just such a great tag like i'm just like in tag mode right now mary and bright let's get santa's face up here closer for you guys oh he's cute santa claus oh so merry merry little christmas holly jolly and merry happy holidays to you so any of any of these you could trim out and you've got a banner. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, and then the back, gorgeous. Look, some of the sleighs are blue, some of them are pink, and some, of, and then there's trucks and the trucks are just the cream color for the background. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I think I'm casting a shadow. Let me get on that better. Look at that. That's really cute. That's great background paper. And then, gosh, this is good. This is good, guys. I hope you guys like this as much as me. I am in love with it. Love this right here. Files are big this year, and I love files, so... Well, I don't like to file, ugh, but I like the shape of file folders. Oh my gosh, look at this little deer. 25, nice, fa la la, loving this. That is beautiful right there. In the back, I see bows. I see bows and I see candy canes and I see bows and I see stockings, oh my gosh. I love a bow. Look, just look at it, it's so pretty. The colors are beautiful. Oh my gosh, the green is just gorgeous. Okay, and then the, I will lift this up. The stockings are very, very similar to the candy canes. This is beautiful. I have not seen this collection other than online. Oh my gosh, I love this. Other than online. And I mean, it was beautiful online, but it's even prettier in person. So, like, look at this modern, the way they did this. 
So you have your little collage. So you, I mean, it could just be just a quick card uh, tag, quick embellishment for something. And look at this deer. I need to do some of my big tags and I'll start with, I might use this, this image. I will start with my Luna collection. I'm not going to get into Christmas. I want to give Halloween my undivided attention. At least that's what I want. But you know, sometimes you veer off. You just never know. Oh my gosh, the back of this. The back of this paper, are you kidding me? Let's see, what were we on? This, and then he puts this cuteness on the back. Wow, that is cute. So you have the sitting deer in her two different bows, and then you have the standing deer. Unbelievable. All right, now we have the cut-aparts, or yeah, I guess they're called cut-aparts. And you've got Christmas list, Holly, Jolly, and Mary. I mean, see, look, look, you have different decades of Santa. That's amazing. And then the little kid, the, I, I think it's a little girl. And then this little girl, I'm, I'm not positive. I'll, I'll bring it up. You guys can be the judge. What do you think? Just because I see pants doesn't necessarily mean it's a girl, but he may have done girl in a dress and boy, but I don't know. It's pretty cute. I think it's whatever you wish it to be. So this one I actually bought. I loved this, this so much because I thought it would make great cards and tags. I bought a few extra sheets of this one. So always remember that's an option. And I know you poinsettia lovers, come on. Look at this. I mean, look at this gorgeous blue and this beautiful red, pink. I just, now see, I was all wanting to do Halloween. Now I want Christmas, but you know what? We don't want to rush. We want to enjoy our holidays, right? Oh my gosh, all of the reindeer's names and then Rudolph's in gold. Let me get that up. That's cute, these tags. I don't know that my scan and cut would cut these tags. That would be nice, but I think it's such a simple design. Um, I could easily do it. You know, he could have sold a die to go with this. Ooh, that would have been nice. All right, let's see. Ooh, what if he did a die and then he always did a, a sheet like this and then we could use our die from year to year? There's an idea. Oh, look at the back. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, usually this matches. So we got bows here. Oh, let's see. Or does it all have bows? Sometimes this part gets um, out of whack at the printer. There's the bows. So I was thinking maybe I had different more bows, but it looks like gorgeous stripes. And I think this might be it. I'm not gonna turn it because here's the bone. Oh, there's the bonus page not distract you here is this going this way so this really matches the let me get this this really matches this so now I'm going to take this off here off this piece of white paper oh look at that that makes a plaid how cool is that so there you go so there's something there there's something we need to discover there. I like that. So pretty. I, I initially thought this was like a peel off back. It's just a frosted back. Uh, if anybody, if anybody discovers this can peel off, oh my gosh, please let me know. But uh, I love it the way it is. I love it how it's like a cream, very vintage. And I, I feel like the acetates are going to go fast. Like, I feel like the acetate sheets are going to fly. Oh, look at her. I'm just, I want this baby deer in my yard. Okay, so here are the, what they're saying is two cutout element sheets. So, it's bonus sheets included. So, I am a fan of that this year. And just look, they're going to be the same, I think. Let me just look. Yeah, they are the same. Oh, my gosh, the back is gorgeous. Okay, let's just soak in the beauty of this. So you get two of the Santas, a deer, 
you get the flags, phenomenal. The fa la la. Oh, you get some peppermints. You get some tags. And the back, like the backs of these, the backs of these tags, let's see what they're going to look like. That beautiful pink, you don't even need to back them. This card stock's thick enough. You don't even need to back them if you don't want to. Beautiful. Easy to turn that into a tag or use it separate for the bow. And the joy, oh, you get a circle die around that. It's just, it's too good. Okay, so I will quick go through these. And this, I think, is the only one that's going to have the gold on it. And they should be close to identical, if not identical. I should have cut these open, but I did not think of it. Feel free to fast forward if I go too slow. I just appreciate you guys spending your time with me. Okay, so what do we have here? Eight double-sided designs, four sheets, whereas this is eight double-sided designs, three sheets, and then the two bonus cutout elements. So I'm okay with sacrificing a sheet of paper to get those cutouts. I don't know about you guys. All right, get this folded in. Just beautiful. I will keep this down low. Oh gosh, so pretty. I don't know, did the other one say postcard underneath that? It did. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Just, oh, just in case you guys want a little bit closer look. I mean, just look at this. So in love. This gorgeous stripe. The polka dots are going to be on the back. And I, I really like the 8x8s. I said in the last video, I feel like the 8x8 sells out the fastest. Okay. In the back, you get the polka dots. Oh, my goodness. Here is the... He's a little bit smaller, but that's, that is some tiny flags. If you need some tiny flags to just cut out real quick. And then this. Now, see, I really like this in this size. Look at that. Sorry, I bumped my stand. Isn't that nice? Oh my gosh, bring on the holidays, right? Loving this. Loving this. I hope you guys are loving this as much as me. Let me bring it down a little bit so you can see everything. Guys, look at that cute child. Okay. Oh, let's see, they put all those, and there's the, there's the bows. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then here we have the stockings. And what's on the back, are the snowflakes on the back of the stockings? Yeah, this is such, such cute paper. Those stock, those snowflakes, oh my gosh. And then this one, I am loving the size of this. Loving it. And then the back, you're going to die. It's the little deer with the tree. Just so good. And he, he gave us lots of choices for the deer. Lots of choices for the Santa. For the sayings, for the children. Oh my gosh. So in love. And this might, is this... Okay, so then bring that up just in case I didn't. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. She is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Look at these pink poinsettias. And then the tags. Again, oh my gosh, he could do t he could do three sets. He could do a die, a nested die for these tags. One, two, three, and then we could get the three pads. Wouldn't that make life easy? She is just too much, too much cute. I think this might be it. And then the beautiful stripe on the back. So beautiful. Okay, and quickly through this, look, we've almost been through all of it. This one is also eight double-sided and four sheets of each. And just in case, let me see, 
are the prices on these? The price is on that one. Yep, $25.99 for the big, if you're curious. $11.99 for the 8x8. $6.99 for the 6x6, and then $4.99 for the journaling cards. For $5, you get a lot of bang for your buck on that little guy. <clears throat> Okay, this is super adhesive, super industrialized adhesive on this, keeping all our paper safe. Look at that. <laughs> what on earth? This pad really got glued down. I don't want to tear my cover. Here we go. Again, feel free to fast forward when little things like this happen. Okay. So we've got the same. We'll go through this quicker just so you can kind of see the size difference. Isn't that nice? Just to have the options. And then look, I'll pop this one open too. Now I'm going to move my arm. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay. So we got the gorgeous stripes. That's so pretty. That pink. Polka dots. Now this one's much smaller. That would be really great background paper there. That would be pretty wrapping paper, wouldn't it? So with this. Look how little they are. I love this print. These little guys. Let's see the back of this one. Oh, let's see the bows. I just love this. You get the bows and the candy canes, and then you've got the bows and the stockings. Get your snowflakes on the red. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like modern and vintage in the same. I just love it. Love that nutcracker. And the deer. Just so you guys can get like a scale. And then look at these. So pretty. You could really make ornaments with these. You know, I had started making with his last year's some little boxes, little match boxes, and I believe I used these. Yeah, isn't, aren't these cute? I started making these, I don't know, a few weeks ago, or maybe before I did the Mimi Mondays. Yeah, but I made quite a few of them. Some of them are really stinking cute. This one needs a little box underneath, and then I made this one. Aren't this, you could do it in either direction. But here's an example of last year's versus this year's. So it's equally, equally fantastic. Okay. And I think this is our last sheet. It seems, no. No, it's not because we have the tags. And the beautiful poinsettias. And then the tags. And then I think the stripes are on the back of the tags. Yes. Gorgeous, stunning, love it. So if, if stores are sold out, just put yourself on the wait list and get a reminder. This, because like I said, it's early. I just, I was waiting for these to come out and I figured I was ordering the Halloween. I may as well be environmentally conscious and go ahead and have everything shipped at once. Okay, so these are the chipboard stickers. Oh my gosh, just look at that. The Santa, the poinsettia, the little girl, the deer. And I did buy a couple of these. Look at that nutcracker. Look at that pink present. Holly, Jolly, and Mary. And then here, oh look, it's this deer twice. Thank you so much. And then you've got one, two, three Santas. You've got another deer. You've got that gorgeous Rudolph deer. 
he is quite spectacular. A very like elegant Rudolph, love it. So there's those. I think those were around $5.99. These are probably priced $4.99. I grabbed the puffy stickers and I only grabbed one of these, but I grabbed two of these because I thought that these were just great. I thought these would work great as cabochons. And just like in the Halloween in the Luna, he gives you like with the candy corn, he gives you two rows of the peppermints and two rows of the presents and the candy canes. And the, that's fantastic. Love it. And then this one. Merry Little Christmas, Merry and Bright, Fa La La. You get a few more little candy cane pieces. So if you don't need this many, he's got you covered with some little candy cane pieces and poinsettias and a present. You get the pink present over here. And the Nutcracker, love that. Oh, and a bow. Oh, bows would have been cute. And then the ephemera. And if you guys prefer me taking the ephemera out, leave it in the comments. But I'm just trying to kind of go through this a little quicker. Because when I don't mind taking the ephemera out. But I know it does make the video much longer. So, the difference between the two. This is the 64. And this is the 72. Okay, so here's the 72 on the left. So, you get your tags... You get this Santa with two little deer. This one, this one has the, what, 64? This one you get Santa stuffing a stocking and then his face. So you get the deer with the pink bow on the smaller one. You get the deer with the red bow. You get this child with the tree on this one. You get the girl in the dress with the tree behind her on this one. It, I mean, it's great. You can't go wrong with either one. But uh, it's, it's great if you can grab both of them. If you have both of them available to you. I think we will get a lot of use. And you get... Do you get two of each in here? Or do you just get... You have to get two of each. I feel like you do, but I don't know. But I feel like you do. I feel like there's, yeah, two trees are here. Yeah, I feel like you do. I see two of the, th this right here. Oh, wow. That, they have that as ephemera. Oh my gosh. That, um, like, it's kind of like that mixed media page where they have that as the ephemera on there. Oh my gosh, so great. All right, guys. Uh, let me know if you prefer it when I take the stuff out, and I will next time. But um, thanks for watching, guys. You have a great day, and I will see you. I will see you tomorrow doing the drawing for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. All right, somewhere around 10, 15, 10, 30 in the morning, just seeing how the morning goes. And again, thanks for watching. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.